Section 6 It is a painful and tragic spectacle that rises before me. I have drawn back the curtain from the rottenness of man. This word in my mouth is at least free from one suspicion that it involves a moral accusation against humanity. It is used, and I wish to emphasize the fact again, without any moral significance. And this is so far true that the rottenness I speak of is most apparent to me precisely in those quarters where there has been most aspiration hitherto toward virtue and godliness. As you probably surmise, I understand rottenness in the sense of décadence. My argument is that all the values on which mankind now fixes its highest aspirations are décadence values. I call an animal, a species, an individual, corrupt, when it loses its instincts, when it chooses, when it prefers what is injurious to it. A history of the higher feelings, the ideals of humanity, and it is possible that I'll have to write it, would almost explain why man is so degenerate. Life itself appears to me as an instinct for growth, for survival, for the accumulation of forces, for power. Whenever the will to power fails, there is disaster. My contention is that all the highest values of humanity have been emptied of this will, that the values of decadence, of nihilism, now prevail under the holiest names.